Well, here we are. Welcome to the Crumb at Exeter University. The semi-final between the green and white hoops. Feet were against one another at various points in the season. Loughborough on a five-game streak and looking to pierce through the Exeter line. But instead, they get their pocket picked. And Sophie Langford bursts through and underneath the upright. A thief in the Exeter Knights. And the green machine draws first blood. An opportunity to maximise the early score. Dad strikes it pure. And Exeter lead by seven. Molly Anderson Thomas and Becca Lorne in the centres. Two tough carriers. And then bags of pace out wide. Green receives. Skips out the inside and goes straight to the lawn. And the lawn mowers her way all the way to the line almost. Pick and go from point blank range and tries to live it by the African Violet. An immediate response from Loughborough after Dad's conversion. So this from Leah Green. To level the match, which he does. The green waves crashing on the Loughborough shores. Langford almost in for a double. Two green and white hooped women come thundering round the corner. Skeets takes two, three jerseys to halt her. And finally, a breathless passage comes to a close. And a penalty to Exeter. Wow, Maisie, that was special. But Exeter aren't hanging around. Neve Orchard! In for Exeter's second. The pressure pays. An Exeter strike. A good carry from Becca Lawn. Sets up a carry for Kendall Warby. The Mansfield Rugby Club girl. And Weaver again. First to the base, feeding the power, feeding the pace, feeding the try scoring desire of the unstoppable Amelia Williams. A one woman wrecking ball through the Exeter defence, and Loughborough have an equalising second try. Yeah, it's really disappointing. I think it almost felt a little bit inevitable that they were going to come away from come away from this passage of play of points with how they've been attacking. Um, but yeah, Exeter have just shown for the last three set piece plays that they can they can defend and to, to come off the detail and to not quite get that right will be really disappointing for them, but hopefully fuel them for this kickoff to try and get them out of their half. Smith eventually sent up after a few dummies and latched upon by Genevieve Shaw. In comes Phoenix Davis to control things from the back as Exeter wind round the corner and Loughborough begin to splinter. Oh, Davis gets magnificently isolated by Maisie Johns, but she did so illegally, and Exeter are off and away with the penalty. Langford does so well to hold on to that fizz ball from close range. That's Wrestles brilliant. it to the floor. Off goes Skeets. Exeter sensing a third. Exeter arms are aloft, but most importantly, Hollywood's arm is aloft. They've battered down the door. They have their third, and they've retaken the lead in this semi-final. I can vouch for Leah Green and the distance generated. Having seen her slot a few for England 20s a couple weeks back. She strikes it pure. And she try, strikes it straight. And Loughborough draw level from the boot of Leah Green. And captain. I haven't really had the opportunity to say her name too much. But an overthrow. And Loughborough feasting on Exeter errors. Loughborough filling their boots on their way to the try line. Oh, goodness me. 
the overthrow, punished mercilessly by Kendall Wardby. At the second time of asking, Green finds the strike she wanted first time up. And that closes the half on a high for Loughborough. A converted try to draw Hollywood's halftime blast. This semi-final on a knife edge. Exeter 17, Loughborough 24. Well, Danny Priest got herself into a bit of a tangle there. And now Exeter have got themselves into a bit of a spot within their own 22. Look at that for a line from Anderson Thomas. Still going. Grapple to the floor. Skeets hanging from her ankles. Pick and go from the big forwards of this Loughborough side. There's no energy being offered from the backs at the moment. They're happy to sit back and watch their pack batter away at this green door. Weaver calls more big purple jerseys round the corner. They go again. Hollywood on her knees. Weaver spots some room on the right, but emphatically shut down. Titanic defence from the X at the moment. Lafra through Fitzpatrick. Again, no way through. Back to the right they go. This time they're closer. Wardby looking for a second. Penalty advantage for Loughborough. But they won't need it because they're there. They have their fourth score and they extend this lead early in the second half. And it's Lily Ives Campion being congratulated by her fellow women in African Violet. Lacey Ward recently signed to Exeter Chiefs. Gets that go forward. Oh my goodness. The line of the season from Andy Keats. Allianz Cup, that's why so many of these girls are getting opportunities from uni into the big leagues. And Exeter are looking to get not into the big leagues, but into the Loughborough 22. A gorgeous pop to Neve Orchard, who surfs the shoulder of Priest and bombs across for the biggest of tries in this semi final. Enveloped by her teammate. Exeter back into the hunt and a conversion to come. Kerfee. Green has a juggle, finds a friend. Off goes Warby, who transfers to a rampaging Ives Campion under the poles. And Green stretching the lead to 11. Loughborough, poised, ready to charge. And they meet the might of Skeets, knocking her back. Extra drive again, all the way to the line. And they're there, they're across. Is that Neve Orchard again? Is she getting up from the bottom of it? Well, ultimately, yeah, there's, there's little pressure on this one because they still need a try, but now... All they need is a try. Three purple jerseys and there's numbers here for Exeter. Langford on the line. Back inside to Summers. Glorious gripping rugby at the death. Anna Woodman. How have these girls got the energy to muster such class? I do not know, but the phases these girls are putting in, and they are not going, they are not going safe. Oh, they've just lost the ball. Finally spilt by Davis. It's in the hands of Bo Westcombe Evans. She finds the touchline, 
And Loughborough, remarkably, thrillingly, find their way to the Stonex. A first final in the Women's National League era belongs to Loughborough.